I'm sure you've seen the controversy surrounding Whoopi Goldberg. She landed herself in hot water over her insensitive and I might add very careless words about the Holocaust, saying that it had nothing to do with race, it's just two groups of white people and so on. And rightly so, she's been called out. It was reckless. And uh, I believe she's been suspended from a show. And it really teaches us the significance of our words, how it can influence the world around us. Now, there's a very poignant message in our partial this week, the partial of Truma. We begin the instruction to construct the Mishkan, the tabernacle, and the items inside. One such item being the holy ark, the Aaron. On top of the Aaron was a covering. On top of the covering were these Kruvim, these two cherub-like figures. Many commentators say these Kruvim had the face, the partsuf of a child. Now, there's something really, really uh, powerful about this. Because our, the Midrashim tell us when they were constructed, these two childlike figures were facing one another. But if the people started to behave inappropriately, if they turned away from Hashem, these faces of the children would turn away from one another. And I think herein lies the crucial message for each of us. When children are born, they're not born with prejudices. They're not born with hatred. They're not born to say, this person looks different to me or follows a different faith to me, so I'm going to hate them. Or I'm rightly allowed to turn against them or to say bad things about them. No, they're born facing one another. It's only as they get older, where they get influence from their parents, from their teachers, from society, where they start to listen, to hear things, what we're saying. And if we're saying things which are allowing the space for prejudice, they're allowing the space for hatred, for intolerance, they'll slowly start to turn away from another and feel justified that I don't need to look you in the face. I don't need to care about you. I don't need to like you. And so the Torah was teaching us that we have to remember it's our actions that can influence the way children will start to behave towards one another. If we behave appropriately, if we respect each other, if we accept each other, if we have harmony with one another, the children will remain facing one another. But as our actions change, if we start to allow comments like Whoopi to go uncalled, to go to be accepted, to say that you know things might be okay to justify perhaps certain actions of hate, then those children will start to turn away from one another. They will then start to become adults who will fight with one another, who will hate one another. And so it relies squarely with us. How are we educating the next generation? And it's our comments and our actions which will dictate that. So I pray that Whoopi will learn her lesson. All of us will learn from it to remember how significant our actions and words are. And please God, the way we behave, the way we speak, will ensure that our children will always remain facing one another even as they get older. And hopefully they will then teach their children to do the same. Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful weekend ahead.